The UK is notoriously wet. You know, we carry umbrellas, we complain about the weather, it's kind of what we do. You wouldn't think the UK could be facing a water shortage, but that's exactly what the Environment Agency says could happen in the next 25 years. I've been sent on assignment by National Geographic and Finnish to explore why we're running out of water and what we're going to do about it. So to understand how a country like ours could run out of water, I'm going to talk to Sir James Bevan, Chief Executive of the UK Environment Agency. James, we live in a country that is famously wet, yet there's a suggestion that in the future we could be running out of water. It's not a suggestion, it's, it's the reality. Unless we do something uh, to change our behaviour, then in 20 years' time we may well find that in this country we have real water shortages. Why is that happening? It's happening partly because of increased demand. Um, there are currently 67 million people in this country. By 2050, there'll be 75 million. But it's also happening because of decreased supply. The climate is changing. We know that that is producing hotter and drier summers. Uh, we predict that by 2050, we'll have some rivers where there is uh, less than 80% of water levels than we are currently experiencing. It's pretty clear from that conversation that while we think we might have enough rainfall, Water scarcity is a reality, and it's something we're all going to have to work together to address. Today I'm going to meet Cyril Midskoff at Thames Water, the UK's largest water company, to learn about the innovative technologies being deployed to solve one of water's most high-profile problems, leaky pipes. How many leaks are you getting a day called in, roughly? We get through 1,400 every week in terms oh. of, you know, fixing um, yeah. um, on, on average, on an average week. That's blown me away. Crazy. Why is it so important to find and fix leaks for you guys? Well, Charlie, last year we leaked 690 million litres a day on average, which is the equivalent to almost 300 uh, Olympic-sized swimming pools. The big burst mains that you tend to see um, make up only about a third of the repairs that we do. The other two-thirds are all actually hidden underground. You've probably got thousands of miles of pipes down there, and you get a leak. How on earth do you find it? One of our key um, tools in that is, is data, and that's what we're doing with our smart meter rollout program. We used to get less than a million meter readings a year, and we now get almost 10 million every single day. That allows us to pinpoint where the issues are, and therefore be able to send our teams in to then track down where those leaks are. Of course, leaks don't just happen to the national networks, they happen in the home too. You know, a, a trickling toilet can waste 400 litres of water a day. On average, we use about 143 litres of water a day. There are really simple things you can do to save water in your house, like fitting low-pressure shower heads, or even these little things, aerators that screw into the bottom of your tap. Many of us pre-rinse our pots, pans and plates. But I've learned that's a huge waste of water because the first thing your dishwasher does is rinse everything. It's easy to take water for granted. You know, you, you turn the tap on and it comes out. But we've got to consider the bigger picture, not pre-rinsing our dishes, installing simple technologies, small actions that if everybody did would add up and make savings that could secure the future of our nation's water.